word art because it gives us fat characters and we're gonna go ahead and select this word art that and this your enter text let's put the number let's make this the one dollar and the one shows up there we can just go ahead and drag it up here now word works with basic layers so anything that you're adding in after starts to get piled on top whatever you've done before just keep that in mind let's go ahead we can draw drag these corners to make things smaller fatter okay now once you have the right one instead of recreating it basically we're going to do a simple copy and paste so copy paste and then we're going to drag this out to here and then we're going to do control V to do another one or if uh, you're using a Mac it'll be open Apple V or command V so we're going to go ahead and do the one dollar there now we're going to now we'll do a new word art uh, insert word art and let's do a little more fancier word art and then we're going to put one dollar hit OK and we can go ahead and stick this in here one dollar we can move her down a little bit to use space on the top now just so you know you can use your arrow keys you see how it's jumping around and it'll move now to make smaller movements with this you can hold your control key down on your keyboard and use your arrow keys again and it'll do smaller jumps so this is now without the control held down and this is with the control held down see how much smaller the movement goes okay so you have that put there next we want to do let's go ahead and customize this for maybe for your school if you're actually doing homeschooling or that style it's a word art here let's make this fancier and oh let's actually is there a curve down let's see if we have a curve down oh colorful is nice too so let's put down um, our school bucks Okay, and what we're going to do is shrink this a little, just so that looks cool. And there we go. And of course, you can add anything more that you want as we go along. Now let's go ahead and move this so it's not touching. Hold our Control key, tap up a little. It'll move up. And now what we want to do is we made one first. We can duplicate it by starting in the corner. We're going to drag a square around it, it'll select all and we're going to do a simple copy and paste. Now with everything selected we can move the whole thing together by dragging and we do control V again it'll bring up another one and go ahead and now if you want to make this a whole sheet and keep all the lines even you select the whole thing here do a copy paste and all three new ones will move over and there we have a sheet of one dollar bucks now the same thing would go with if you want to go ahead and of course you know make your five sometimes it'll just be easier if you select this change the color to a fill there and then by double clicking on this you can change it to five oh. Hit OK. Change this. Now all I'm doing is double clicking and changing each one. Five. Five. Double click on here too. And change it to five dollars. Hit OK. And then we can go ahead and change the picture here as well. So we'll bring up our image again same kids pick we we'll do a crop like this center it out hit OK now make sure you, again you do a file save as and you put down kids this is me when I was I don't know how old but it's kids me and that one add a little icon to my desktop there we'll go ahead and make sure again don't save it as it'll overwrite the original so it's usually always sometimes better to I, this is a copy anyway in case I accidentally make mistakes I will start with a copy 
then we'll bring back up our screen again and we will delete this one let's draw a new picture I guess I could have left it and center that there and we'll go ahead and do an in again fill fill effects I'm gonna go to picture select the picture and select this face in there and stick it in. There we go. Now we can make me look a little thinner there. That's how you can make it and of course if you want to just make one sheet of fives we can delete this and then we'll select only this area here. Copy. Paste. and then control V is faster just to go ahead and paste it like that and now we have a sheet of ones and fives and of course like I said you can always customize these any which way you want um, it's always good to do a print preview and see what it looks like okay well close that out there and you can go ahead and print it from there or if you, uh, if you have any other questions feel free to go ahead and email me at chris at kidsmoneyfarm.com I'd be happy to answer you or even make a tutorial for you if you wish um, have a great great week and I will see you in the next tutorial